Welcome back to the shop. The time has finally come. The paint is dry and I got the camera set up on the Tacoma Company upgraded blast cabinet. Before I mash that pedal and start blasting, let me share with you the setup I have here. As you all know, this is a completely upgraded Tacoma Company Harbor Freight 40 pound blast cabinet. I'll be using the deluxe gun kit, which has a number four jet and a number four tip. I'll be running it at 25 PSI. I'll be blasting with number 75 crushed glass abrasive. Crushed glass abrasive is about a 4.5 on the hardness scale, diamond being the hardest out of 10. I'll be blasting with about two solo cups worth of media. My metering valve will be set full lean, which is full open, which uses less media. Full closed is full rich, and that uses the most amount of media. I'll be blasting these random parts you see here, brass, aluminum, cast aluminum, steel, cast iron, and a piece of 360 brass bar stock. So let's mash that pedal and get to blasting.
Now that we blasted these four parts with the number 75 glass abrasive, we're going to perform the two-stage blasting process. And what that entails is we're going to completely clean the cabinet and then we're going to put a glass bead in there. So let's go ahead and get that cabinet cleaned out and we're going to um, back flush the gun so we get all of the number 75 out of the cabinet as possible. I'm going to fire the vacuum back up and I'm going to use this three inch brush to brush all the number 75 glass abrasive down into the hopper. Then we're going to drain the hopper and then we're going to uh, back feed the blast gun. That way we get all the media out of the tube and as much of the glass abrasive out before we put the glass bead in. The whole reason for cleaning this cabinet and getting all the number 75, we don't want to cross contaminate the glass abrasive with the glass bead you'll end up with way better results when you have all glass bead with none of the abrasive mixed in. Okay, I have most all of the number 75 glass abrasive down in the hopper. So now we're gonna to go to the metering valve and pull the plug and drain it out. So now we need to back flush the gun and we're gonna crank the pressure up to about 60 PSI. Then we're gonna hold our finger over the nozzle and hit the pedal. Number seven, glass bead. So there you have it. You just witnessed a two-stage blast process. You saw the gun work flawlessly. It didn't skip a beat. We used low pressure of 25 PSI. We used a number 75 glass abrasive and followed it up with a number seven glass bead. Let me bring you in tight on the parts. So in lieu of time, and to keep the video short, I only did four of these parts. Here's the blow gun, as you can see. Look at that, absolutely beautiful finish, flawless. This is made up of several different parts. You see brass, steel, cast, another brass fitting. Here's the cast aluminum piece. Look at the detail. Three sixty brass bar. And here's the pipe clamp. Look at that finish. The proof is in the pudding. Right there, you got a high-end, high-performance, very efficient blast cabinet. So until next time, see ya.